you've decided you're going to build a new construction home or you're taking on a inventory from a builder and you're wondering hey how much room is there actually to negotiate can we negotiate can we get a lesser price what's the deal here's what i do we're going to talk about it today let's get our pens and paper out kind of get some education answer some questions and then we'll run into it so here we go The age old question, uh, can we negotiate? Can we get a better price? And you know, the answer always is, yeah, you know, everything is negotiable. Although some things are easier to negotiate for than others. And let's, let's talk about that when it comes to new homes. If you're choosing to build from the ground up and you're like, Hey, we're going to take on this, you know, we're going to pick the lot. We're going to pick the elevation, pick the floor plan. We're going to do all of that. And you want to negotiate on that one. I'm not going to tell you that it doesn't happen. I'm just going to tell you that there's a slim chance that it will happen. For the most part, there's not going to be a lot to add in, in, in that space with the exception of a few builders. And you just got to know what you're asking for. Um, are you asking to, can we get, you know, an upgraded elevation for a cheaper price? Eh, probably not um, because those catalogs are set. Can we, you know, get a price reduction on the floor plan? Hmm highly unlikely. You know, we want a better lot. Can we negotiate on that premium? Potentially. So this is a, uh, you know, it's case by case, builder by builder, uh, and it depends on where they are in the development. So oftentimes on, you know, on the front end of a development or on the front end of a phase, it's like, hey, we have, you know, we want to sell our first 10 or 15 contracts. Uh, what can we do to make that happen? Well, we really want this corner lot. You've got your, you know, lot premium at 20,000. We think we would pay 12. And they're like, well, Maybe that is probably the first place truthfully that you're going to be able to negotiate for uh, a price reduction is in that if you're choosing to get a lot premium, the structural options, um, those are most likely not going to be negotiated because those are calculated based on material. So if you're like, oh, we want to add a third car garage and their catalog says it's $18,000, they're not going to give you that for 15 or, you know, hey, this, you know, this elevation because of the stone like you're not going to get that. You're also not going to get it in necessarily. Oh, can we knock off, you know, can we nickel and dime the material? You're not going to get it there. So on the build job, the biggest places I would say you're going to get the negotiation power is lot premium, uh, design incentive and closing cost incentives. Those three, uh, maybe. And, and again, it just depends. Like if you're trying to negotiate on the best lot in the neighborhood, you know, it's, it's a corner of a cul-de-sac that overlooks a green belt and it comes with birds chirping every morning and a waterfall, they're probably not going to negotiate on that one, right? It's, it's just probably like, let's just be real. They're going to charge you what they're going to charge you for that one. But it's like, oh, it's, it's another corner and, you know, it kind of is oblong shaped or whatever. They might negotiate. Pro tip, when we're looking at this and you're thinking about building, you know, ask to see the whole community map. Ask to see where you can put houses. Because sometimes just because it says, oh, this is a 50 foot lot. Uh, well, maybe it's, it's, you know, it's funky and it's a weird shape and it's actually 58 feet or, you know, it's a little bit odd or it's like 63 feet. So it doesn't move up to the next tier, um, but it's got a, you know, it's got a pie shape on the backside and it gets you a little bit more space. So there's potential to find a better lot without necessarily getting the negotiated lot premium down. But I would ask for the premium on the lot. I would also say, hey, you know, you're trying to, you're giving, um, you know, 10K or 15K in design. Can I, can I get a little bit more incentive there? And sometimes, you know, d again, depends on the builder, depends on how good you are at it, depends on your realtor, depends on, you know, the stage of the community. Yeah, they may throw in an extra 20 or 30. Some builders will do things where they'll say, hey, if you, uh, if you spend 20, uh, you get 5,000 back. If you spend 30, you get 10,000 back. Uh, First Texas is, is usually real is one of those ones that does that a lot where like your design, the more you spend, the more you save. So it's like, Hey, spend 50, get, you know, 15 or get 20 or whatever off the price of your design. Those, those promotions vary based on the seasonality of the community of the builder of the year. Uh, so you can always ask, Hey, I know this is what you're offering. Can we get a little bit more on that side? And then lastly, uh, on the, on the build job, the biggest negotiation piece, uh, Hey, can we get a little bit more in financing incentives. Hey, I know you are trying to give 12. We really need to get to, to 15 or 18. Uh, pro tip on this one, if you're using the builder's lender, there might be a little bit more wiggle room for them to move the money on their side of the equation. It's kind of like saying, hey, two plus two is four, uh, but three plus one is also four. It gets the same result on their side of the equation. It's just they, they move the, 
the money around a little bit. Uh, so there's always potential to say, hey, we need to get a little closer. Can, can you make that happen? If you're working with their lender, that can, can kind of be a sticking point to help get a deal done, to help get you closed. But also uh, in terms of how you negotiate, uh, you're going to get what you put into that transaction. So what I mean by that is don't be a jerk. Like just remember uh, there's a human on the other side of that board, right? Uh, so this is kind of where we live in tension. Like we want to get the best the best thing possible, but we also don't want to be a jerk about it. We want to understand that, hey, they can only do so much. And truthfully, really and really truthfully, most of the time, not all the time, most of the time, the sales rep in the builder's office is not going to have final say so. They may have a little bit of margin that they know they can move one way or the other, but ultimately it's going to be above them that's going to make that call. And it really just comes down to do the numbers make sense on the spreadsheet for the builder. That That's oftentimes true on the build job. On a inventory home, uh, there is usually more room to negotiate. They, you know, builders have their margins that they wanna make, they wanna make money. Uh, so I will tell you, in my experience, we have had better success negotiating on homes that are already started, uh, homes that are closer to completion, or really and truthfully, the homes that are already done and they're sitting and they had, a, maybe they had a, a contract bust and you know somebody's offer fell through, they couldn't close on the home, or it was a spec home and it's been sitting for a little bit. Those are the homes that are gonna have, I think, the best negotiation point on them. So you want to uh, you want to get your realtor, which is gonna be me. We're gonna to work together. We're gonna to find you the best deal. Uh, and you wanna start asking those questions. So ultimately, can you negotiate with a builder? Yes, there is a right and wrong way to do it. Um, you're not gonna get hundreds and thousands of dollars off. That's not gonna be the case. The benefit to negotiating with a, a builder versus trying to buy a resale home is there's only emotions on one side of the transaction. So think about it like this. When you go buy somebody else's resale home, they have the emotion of, oh my gosh, this is where we brought our children home to. And they walk down the stairs and that's where little Jimmy did the thing. And we marked the, and it's like, we got, and like, this is our nest egg and we've got to make so much money. And so like, you've got their emotions and then you've got your emotions. And it's like, oh, we love this house. This is going to be our dream home. We're going to do all these things. And those emotions start fighting against each other. That's not the case when it comes to builders. On the builder side, it's like you have your emotion and the things that you want, and the builder has their spreadsheet. And it's like, okay, this is number 6762. Uh, we have this much margin. This is what it cost us. Uh, when we bought the material, this is how much we have in labor. This is what we did in upgrades. Uh, yeah, we can make that happen. Oh, you're using our lender. Yeah, we can give you an extra couple thousand here. Oh, hey, you're using Zach as your realtor. And you say, Zach, I need a little bit extra to help get us over the finish line to make it happen. Yes, I can help you. I can contribute to make that happen. And there's like, there's, there's no emotion to that. It's just a math equation. And if the equation makes sense, they make it happen. And it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so the best way to do that when it comes to buying new construction is for us to work together. Phone number, uh, email, all of that right there. Listen, I do a lot of new construction deals. I'm going to be straightforward with you. I think I'm pretty good at what I do. I'm trying to find that, that fine line of, uh, humble and, uh, you know, trying to, trying to be the best. And when we work, when I work with my clients, that's what we try to do is we try to get them the best deal possible, uh, to make their dreams a reality. So if you want to do that here in DFW, you've got to reach out. I've put the, put it forward. Hey, I told you, but I can't do anything until you, uh, until you pick up the phone, send me a text, give me a call, whatever. You want to browse new construction homes. There's a link to do that right down in the description below. If you need help with anything, you have questions about what's going on in the market, what communities are hot right now, what communities are up and coming, what communities are closing out. Let's chat in the comments down below. Can't wait to help you. If you want to stay on top of everything that's happening here in DFW with all the new construction stuff, thumbs up, get you subscribed to the channel. We're putting out content every single week. Share it with somebody who needs to know Yes, you can negotiate on a new construction deal. You just got to know how. Guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye for now.